Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, strong style cinephile, one half of the reigning defending MPX Tag Team Champions, of course, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Now the, what is presumably the first official trailer, which we've all been waiting with bated breath on to see, has leaked. So let us geek about that for a scant few minutes. Now, I usually don't try to spoil too much of, of what's going on. I'm not just like a, a channel that's like trying to break news or get heavy on the behind the scenes leaks and, and, and stuff like that. But this happened to happen. I saw it on a board that I go to. So then I hit YouTube because apparently it was on, you know, blown up on YouTube and Twitter and TikTok and that sort of thing. And while Sony was scrambling and pulling stuff down, some stuff was still left up there. So I found a, a channel that had the bootleg version of it. Um, there were some unfinished uh, visual effects scenes in it, um, but it essentially looked official enough to, to be the thing. So we're gonna get into some specifics. I really don't get, a, get into spoilery discussion on this channel either, but I'm going to for this, to get into some of the things that we've seen in this bootleg trailer. So, yeah. Um, tail end of the last movie, we know Mysterio set up Parker to, uh, Peter Parker to look like he killed Mysterio, as well as exposing his identity to the world. Now, this isn't something new. People knowing who Peter is, we went through it in the comics when he unmasked during Civil War. Shenanigans put that genie back in the bottle. So in this movie, he's not a genie, he goes to a sorcerer. And that's what brings in Doctor Strange. He wants to go in there and kind of undo you know, everybody knowing that he's Peter Parker because everybody's looking at him funny, he's getting accused of killing Mysterio, and just things are a lot more difficult. So he's like, hey, how about can you make it so people don't know? Wong tells Strange not to do it, does it anyway. And as Strange is, you know, doing the spell, Peter's like, well, no, maybe, you know, Ned, can he know? Can Aunt May know? Mary Jane's gonna forget about everything they went through in the last movie, so he's potentially losing out on a lot of, of He's losing out on a lot by kind of redacting his Spider-Man identity from the public and just having to go back to the way it was as far as like hiding and leading that double life and the difficulty that comes along with that, having to lie to the people closest to you to keep that secret. So he seems like he's going to delve into some of the consequences of that in this as well as them kind of messing with space, time, uh, the continuum, the flow of... of of time um, we're gonna bump against somehow is it through when Peter's kind of messing with or trying to tell strange kind of tweak the spell a little bit as he's doing the spell does that kind of mess things up and open the door for the multiverse stuff that's going on because we know Andrew Garfield's in it we know Tobey Maguire's in it we know um, Alfred Molina as Dr. Octopus is in it we see him in the trailer that's gonna be like the big money shot tour at the end where he steps out and it's like hello Peter um, that's gonna, that's that moment to kind of get a rise out of the, the audience, leave them with, you know, wanting more. Um, so is that gonna be the thing that touches it off? Cause Strange even says that, you know, you know uh, space tamper, they're tampering with space time and, and multiversal reality and stuff like that is stuff. I believe he said it's what they don't really know about the audio on this bootleg. Like the phone is recording the video. That's the bootleg video of whatever that was. So. Audio sucked for the most part, but I believe he's saying that they didn't know kind of about the multiverse and the ramifications of getting into that, which of course we're gonna see as this plays out. So it's definitely sets things up to be interesting. You can kind of see how they wanted to hand wave uh, retcon the whole identity reveal from the last movie. Is that gonna stick by the end of the movie? Remains to be seen. I doubt it. I'm assuming he's gonna end up revealing himself to at least MJ and Ned. Maybe not his mom, but maybe so. Um, but to the public at large, he, they won't know. Um, which is good, because Spider-Man needs his like secret identity. That's part of the whole thing, is him just trying to balance those two lives, which Strange says in there, the longer he does that, the more difficult dangerous it's gonna be so well, that's what spider-man is that's that's what he does so i'm assuming that's gonna be the status quo you know going forward remains to be seen all in all i'm interested in it it had the typical um you know uh smart alec sort of quips in it those little interactions between the characters um 
you know, the humor that we get from a Marvel movie, that's going to be in there. So anybody that hates that in Marvel movies, they're going to be disappointed because it's in there. It's funny that it's usually Tom Holland who's accidentally leaking stuff, and he didn't. He posted seemingly in response to it saying on Instagram saying, y'all aren't ready. I'm um, assuming he's talking about the official trailer. Apparently there's an event, I think called CinemaCon, I read it, that's taking place today where they're going to officially reveal the trailer. So maybe we'll get... Uh, uh, better quality leaks after that or we'll get more reports and that sort of thing so it remains to be seen how it all plays out i'm interested in it i'm all for um team ups and that sort of thing so kind of bringing in like toby and andrew garfield even though like Gar uh, toby's third movie sucked both of andrew garfield's movies sucked i'm all for them just bringing in all three spider-mans just kind of seeing them interact together bringing back dr octopus who was a great villain in spider-man 2 which is a phenomenal spider-man movie um, even to this day, I believe it is. Um, so it'll be interesting to kind of see how it all, you know, shakes out and how it kind of sets things up for the Marvel, you know, universe going forward as we go into, you know, this next phase of movies and kind of how it sets the stage for whatever the big bad's going to be to kind of bring us back together for whenever the eventual New Avengers movie hits. So it remains to be seen. I'm still, of course, waiting on the official uh, version like everybody else. Um, but we'll just have to wait and keep waiting like we've been doing. So anyway, those are some of my thoughts on as scattered as they often are. It's Spider-Man trailer leak. If you guys have seen it, what do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Till next time, let us geek.